Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. Today is Friday the 22nd of December and in today's video I'm going to take you through my full day of eating on my bulk. Now I haven't done a full day of eating for quite a while and the reason for that is that my diet doesn't really change that much. However, it is nearing Christmas and my calories are as high as they've ever been and I'm switching my diet up just a little bit. So I thought I'd take you through and show you what I'm eating. So as you will have seen for meal number one, we've got a chocolate chip protein pancake, a little bit of Greek yogurt, and some syrup on top as well. I have been eating pancakes quite a lot recently just because it's easy to make them calorie dense and they're enjoyable to eat and get down as well. I would usually have this with some fruit on top but unfortunately I've run out so we're not going to be healthy today. For all these meals I'll put the calories and macros on the screen but for now let's get this meal down and I'll see you when I'm next eating. All right, so it's about 11 o'clock and I'm just gonna have a snack and I'm just gonna show you what I'm having. Now, my wife's actually Lithuanian and her mum still lives in Lithuania and she sent us over a Christmas hamper of food. And I'll put some videos on the screen from when it arrived and how much we actually got. It was a ridiculous amount of food. So we're still eating our way through that. But let me show you a couple of things that came with that hamper. So two of my favorite things that we got is this pork, almost jerky type stuff. It's smoked, but it's really, really good. And then these pork sausages with chili are really, really great as well. So I'm gonna have a couple of these as a snack just to get some extra protein in. Now, are these the absolute healthiest food? No, of course they're not. And I wouldn't recommend that you eat things like this all of the time, but it's nearing Christmas. I'm coming to the end of my bulk. My calories are really, really high anyway. So I'm just relaxing a little bit and having a bit of fun with things before I get into my mini cut in January. So I don't see it as too much of a problem. And it's just about having a little bit of balance at the end of the day. So I will see you for the next actual meal. All right, next meal going down. So we've got some good old chicken and rice and some vegetables there as well. The seasoning that I've got on the chicken is this char grilled one, along with some salt, pepper and garlic as well and then we're gonna put on some burger sauce don't ask me why but i'm on a bit of a burger sauce kick at the moment with this meal and i just find it goes down really well my biggest tip when you're bulking is switch up your sauces keep it interesting and it's gonna make getting the food down a hell of a lot easier anyway i'm gonna eat this and i'll see you at the next meal so it's about 3 30 now just got myself a coffee and some of these which we got in our little hamper as well so these are like little chocolate mushrooms they're almost like breadstick things they're quite popular in Lithuania and I really like them so I'm gonna have a handful of those probably gonna get an apple as well and that would be just before I work out which will be in about an hour and a half but first, I have got to take little Max to the vet for his four month checkup, which I'm sure he's going to be really pleased about. So I will see you after we've been to the vets. All right, checkup at the vets is done. Max is all good. We've got a push workout today. Shoulders actually been feeling a lot better the last couple of days. So fingers crossed, still not going to push it 100%. Just gonna go by feel and hopefully we can still have a solid workout. So without further ado, let's get it. Coming undone. 
every choice filled with regret till the night we were done And just like that, the workout is done. Not too bad, shoulder felt okay. No pinching, no pain, all good on that front. Still feels a little bit weak, a little bit unstable, but you know, we managed to get through all of the exercises and I managed to go semi-heavy on the dumbbell press and the Smith machine as well. And I still managed to do lighter, iterations of all the other exercises too so overall can't complain too much hopefully a couple of weeks and we'll be back to where we were before it's just frustrating it's a very awkward injury because it affects everything because of the stabilization of your shoulder and to be honest i was just getting to the point where i was quite happy with the progress that i was making and then the injury cropped up again so Frustrating one guys, but hopefully by the new year, we will be back to where we were and we can continue pushing forward. Anyway, let's get on to the post-workout meal. All right guys, to be honest, it is quite a lot later. I came in, had a shower, ate my dinner, walked max and crashed and I'm pretty dead. My final meal, as you can see, I had rice, chicken legs and thighs with the skin on, marinated in a barbecue sauce. I then had salad with half an avocado and some Lithuanian potato salad as well, along with some coleslaw. Now this meal was really filling and quite a lot of calories as well. I'll put them on the screen for you also. And this probably contributed to me crashing. So I have been sat here for the past while just editing the YouTube video before this one. Anyway, I've added up the calories and it comes out to right under 3,400 calories, which is more or less where I want to be. It's also 212 grams of protein, which is more than enough. Now, was this the cleanest full day of eating? No, and I'm not trying to make it that either. I'm just showing you honestly what my days of eating are like at the moment. As I said, I'm getting towards the end of my bulk, and it's Christmas as well, so I'm having a little bit of fun and letting my hair down with food as well, whilst also still prioritising my calories and my protein as well. Once the mini cut starts in January, everything is going to change and it's going to become a lot cleaner and a lot more strict in that regard. Equally, I could have probably eaten another meal before I went to bed and sometimes if the rest of the day isn't as calorie dense as this one, then I will. But there's no point eating any more food than this for the sake of it. I'm putting on weight continuously at the moment and progressing in the gym also and that's all I need to be doing right now. I think with this way of eating, it's not complicated. I just prioritise my meals around protein eat my fruits and veg as well, and then also add a little bit of fun, have some chocolate, have some biscuits when you want also, and that's all there is to it. Also, when you've been tracking your calories as long as I have, you start to get a feel for how much protein and how many calories are in certain things, and you end up hitting your calories and your protein more or less without worrying too much about it. Anyway guys, that is it for today's video. If you have enjoyed the video, drop a like down below. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one, which will be the last video of 2024.